summer can, uh, winter cannot, and then what, what you do with the fish? <laughs> you buy it yourself, you buy it yourself. Huh? I say, so it sounds very funny, but in Feng Shui aspect, and it's true. It, it's actually, oh, within the three months of the, the season, the fact fishing is coming you, your family member. And after the three months, it's helping you. And another three months, is helping you again, you know? Then you will encounter a very turbulent or erratical kind of uh, effect to your family members. Oh, this few months okay, next few months of suffering, and then this few months again okay, next few months suffering, or oh, certain month, first three months okay, middle six months not okay, then last three months okay again. So, uh, so you buy a fish tank that causes a few thousand again, eventually you end up with this one. Roller coaster luck in your family member. So whether to spend a few thousand or not to spend a few thousand, how to determine? That is the reason why you have come to learn about this issue. Is it there? So when we provide you the solution, you need to remember that is all matching your house and matching you personally. Really. So you are protected, your family members are protected. You don't need to worry anything. That's the first thing. The benefit of putting up a few thousand ringgit, then that's where it is now. That is where it is. Is it? But naturally, if you don't want to, then we will guide you through this with this process. You got know I me? Mean? With this process as it is. So the fish tank ones still remember the lesson. All of you can remember. Oh, look at this funny, funny yeah. in there. We said, can I remember? <laughs> can I can remember? How much, or uh, how much of the uh, tax that you can still remember? How much? Any, anyone? Any question that you like to ask about your fish, the fish tank? Any question? <laughs> no, no question. Everything fine. <laughs> Understand? <laughs> no problem. And uh, how far would you be able to actually uh, grasp the fish tank in this protect? Can you go further than a fish tank or anything? More than just when you talk about water in the environment. Well, the lesson in fish tank able to actually tickle your, your mind to actually open up into looking at ways and uh, other aspects of water. Uh, is it any particular to have uh, more than one fish tank? In actual fact, no. no. So we say it's that fish tank depending on the size. So when you want to use fish tank, you have to understand that whether are you using it to subdue certain things or are you using it to activate certain issues. That's the very first thing you need to know. So some of you have already learned uh, about using fish tank to activate the life. Still remember that? Yeah. Is that? So that is activating a love life. And the last when we use the fish tank, we are more towards subduing, yeah, subdue the environmental problems like uh, too dry, okay, she is too warm. Uh, you, you learn all those are uh, to subdue, you see. So we teach you how to determine you need or you don't need. You know what I mean? After which, as we say, is that responsibility is with you. Why? Number one, you need to go to a house four times a year. Four season nine. Number two, if you are responsible enough, you need to make comparison between the external and your living room, external and your sitting room, external and your dining room, external and your bedroom. Oh, every area also must make comparison. Then only it says that you have completed your duties or you are responsible enough to actually determine the proper, the actual things of 
the whole house in terms of fish tank. So this again, call, uh, it calls for your your own uh, responsibility. Is it? Are, are you responsible enough to pay and conduct all this? Or have you seen any Feng Shui master who are responsible enough to visit a place four times a year? No, right? So what, what kind of answer did he give you? <laughs> they are actually conducting something that is not right to the customer. Isn't it true? Yes or no? So you have to understand this, you know. Because when you analyze Feng Shui, you know that anything to do with compass you must be there four times a year. So when a Feng Shui master holds a compass to come to your home to conduct a check, in actual fact, responsibility is very important. He must actually know to tell the customer, if you want me to use a compass to determine your house, I must come four times a year. I must come four times a year because of the erratical magnetic conditions of this earth where using the compass to determine your home magnetic variance call for me to be there four times a year so, so all over the world how many of us actually see a Feng Shui master go to someone's house four times a year hey tell me the most famous person does he do that is it so in eastern art we can use other element base to balance off these magnetic variants. So we don't need to be there. Is it? That's the reason. That is the reason. So whether you use or you don't use, also you must be aware of the basic fundamental. Hey, why? Why need to be there for that? Is it? Is because. Compass main objective is to understand the magnetic variance of the environment. And the four seasons magnetic variance changes right, from time to time. Especially during winter for our worst dealer. Winter is the, most, the worst magnetic uh, erratic moment out of the winter. So I have to understand that as well, you know. So, fish tank, no problem. Just now you mentioned like, fish tank using to activate uh, ah. human, uh, like your ah. uh, love, love life, right? Yes, yes. Okay. So, uh, I encountered my friend. Ah. You know, that time is uh, people crazy about the, the fish pot. Flower horn. Ah, flower horn. And he, he tried to make money from there. Ah. Okay? And in fact, the house, I think, got more than 40 tanks. Yeah. Fish tanks. Mm. Okay. And they convert is a normal our parents' house, single story. Yeah. But uh, due to make money, they squeeze the uh, uh, four rooms, uh, four rooms, master bedroom, one big bed, one big two and so on. Yeah. So suppose the children room got two children, children room, squeeze into one, the other room and the other store room convert into so I would like to know what's the eventual conclusion of your friends? Eventually, I'll tell you what. Say? You got the extra marital problem. Okay. Okay? Yeah, yeah. And then your the whole the whole the whole thing just like a TV in a pump. Give in, right? Nah. Okay, number one. You all know that if a house contains too much of water, you get a lot of sickness. You still remember I said this kidney, yeah. la, right? You have all this chest, la, right? La. All these problems will arise. And your bones, la, your muscle, la, all this will, will suffer all this kind of sickness. Number one. And especially a woman will suffer a lot of woman sickness you know, because of the dampness of the environment. So ladies will suffer the most. Yeah, the first thing you make, the wife suffer a lot, right? No problems, say this. Number two, because when you use this kind of thing, water thing, to conduct this, people become lazy. 
things that when the occupants become lazy, it leads to what? It leads to 